Hello and welcome to um, followed Photoshop action tutorial. Well, f first here's some examples of what you will get from this section. So you will get results like this by the end of action. So uh, this one, this one you will get a color option so you can choose um, this one so that that's our results of this section so now let's go and start this tutorial first uh, let me uh, note that you will need to use high quality pictures like this one so if you have a uh, smaller picture just go to image image size and increase uh, so, nice picture here. <laughs> so go to this image size and go to uh, auto resolution make it uh, 133 and set quality the best and it will increase your um, so you can change it up so it will increase the pixels of um, picture so let's hit ok and enlarge this picture so after that um, just note if you already have a high quality picture you don't need to do this step so it's optional uh, next thing you need to check is that your Photoshop version is English so to do that just go to edit preferences and go to this interface and check that you 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 I language is English so after that click OK now go to image mode and make sure it's set up RGB color and 8 bits channel um, after that go to uh, layers here and click on this small box here and go to panel options and just make sure that this section is uh, checked so this here add copy to copy layers and groups uh, after that hit ok now uh, we need to uh, load brushes uh, needed for this section just so go to select brush tool uh, open this little arrow here go to this uh, box and just select load brushes now go to your um, followed Photoshop action folder and just load this followed uh, action brushes click load so we will have them here after that you need to load actual action so here's my loaded action I just delete it so I can show you how to load it so open this if you don't have this go to Windows uh, window and action click action uh, then click this little box here and go uh, load actions uh, and then after that go to this follow folder and load follow action after that uh, so now we are going to uh, make uh, I mean make sure that your picture has this view like this uh, background with this lock icon if it's like this then go to uh, layer new and background from layer so if if it has this view then it's good so now make a new layer and name it brush with no caps this is very important for action to work like this so after you name it uh, you need to brush your model so if you have a, a wa white background like this one just go to uh, magic Rank tool and select background I, I mean sorry you have to click on on this layer so go like this uh, select the background 
and now you have to make adjustments so little gap here gap here gap here so make sure everything is selected properly so now make adjustments with this uh, polygonal audio tool so uh, hold alt to um, I mean hold shift to add to this section so do it like this or you can use quick selection tool I will use that for this because I need to explain <laughs> um, hold Hold down shift like previous one and just go like this select so now make adjustments around model so uh, when it's in model you have to hold down left alt to make make uh, fill it So after you uh, select all the parts, just press, uh, hold down, uh, left control, shift, and press uh, Y on the keyboard to invert selection. Now when it's inverted, uh, select this brush layer and fill it with any color you want. You can uh, uh, fill it with background color by holding left alt plus delete uh, I mean that uh, fill it with background color by holding left control plus delete so when it's filled uh, press left control D to deselect it now uh, just a note you can uh, brush your, your model by using brush it hard, uh, make brush hard, and just brush your model over, and you can use this method, whatever. So now, when it's all set up, go to action, open this, uh, open up again, and then press play and wait uh, for action to complete. Um, during action, window will pop up and ask you to place a picture of atomic bomb in uh, uh, in background so now uh, when action asks you to put up an uh, image so just go to follow photoshop action folder go to this folder here and place this one png Place it in background like this so it's visible behind the model and hit enter and wait for action to complete. Action is completed so now I realize that um, this uh, picture is a little small so one trick to make it bigger and more suitable for this section is to make background um, larger now I'm gonna show you how to do that so I will delete this action and now use a crop tool and just enlarge this background like this don't worry about this black blackness around the image because uh, actions uh, background color is black so now I will um, play action again and wait till it's finished now action is completed so now I'll explain what every of this folder uh, do um, first thing you need if you want to quickly close all the folders just hold left alt key and press on these arrows like this. So
so after you close everything um, you can um, move and scale every element of this um, of this action and also change color uh, first of all there is color options so there's a uh, five color presets that you can use so I will just go through each each of them so this is the first one second one third one fourth one and fifth one so after you done with everything you can use one of these uh, next folder is main adjustments that's just uh, adjustments to increase contrast and make a more dramatic image uh, next folder is elements in front of model or object whatever first one is dust in front so this one uh, sparks in front sparks in front second layer vignettes in the bottom uh, model model border right this one too makes a difference next folder is model model bottom shadow to make it more dramatic uh, next one next uh, folder is elements behind so sparks behind Tommy mom being behind light behind model and smoke and background color you can change it but I recommend to stay black um, now if you want to change color of less you have it here you have a gradient and sim uh, plain color so you can just turn on this layer and it will change to plain color but just leave it on radiant but if you want you can turn it uh, every, every time like um, next thing is to uh, if you want to maybe brush out these sparks over the face just go to this uh, elements in front folder find sparks in front select brush tool uh, use this simple brush make it soft now click on first uh, sparks layer layer mask and just uh, zoom in. just brush it out of her face uh, select second layer brush it out and dust in front brush it out so you can see your face more now when you're done with that uh, now I'm gonna change, uh, change some color preset open up color options and you can also combine uh, color presets so I'm just combining first two one so this one and second one and you, you get amazing picture and after that you are set to go you can uh, you can turn off or brush out this um, vignette also on the um, main here by layer mask like this just make your brush larger just brush it out or whatever you want uh, to do with this or you can simply turn off all like this and make a dramatic amazing picture and that's it that's the end of the tutorial um, thank you for watching buy action on my graphic river profile use it send me pictures uh, if you want
what you created with this action and that's it thanks for watching again peace out